how did you get from the Atlantic Ocean to our temperate rainforest? What is this? <laughs> this is a great. Nicole and I are now a family of three. Off the grid at Komorebi, we cook every meal ourselves and every day we inch closer and closer to our goal of being off the food grid. Our knives may very well be the most important tool we have as we continue to grow, catch, forage for, and cook all our own food. Right now being the height of summer, the wild foods around us and the food from our garden are abundant. We've been using our Kemikoto knives now for years to prepare all our meals and they make quick and delicious work of all the produce and wild food we eat. We also use the Kemikoto Toishi whetstone to keep the razor sharp edge on all our knives. Nicole and I both really enjoy sharpening our knives using the 1000 grit and 3000 grit sides of the whetstone in order to return each knife to that new degree of sharpness every day. With the Kanpeki knife set, Chukaboku Cleaver, and Kuro series knife set, we now have a knife for every meal and occasion that we prepare in our kitchen. Kamikoto knives are used by Michelin starred chefs all over the world. Each knife is made with Japanese Honshu steel, is individually inspected, and goes through a 19 step process and has a lifetime guarantee. The Ashwood box the knives come in makes a great gift and you can use the special link and discount code below to receive an extra discount. With food prices going up day by day, we love saving money and adding to our overall health, longevity and immunity by cooking our own meals. Having a good quality set of cooking knives makes us enjoy preparing each meal even more, whether it's filleting an avocado for delicious guacamole, or filleting a fish that I caught that day, these knives make us the best chefs we've ever been. Please use the link and discount code below to get the same knives and whetstone we use. Awkward. Who are you guys? <laughs> we are Brett and Jade. We are fellow YouTubers in a kind of a different realm. Not that very, different though. Very, very Slightly different Slightly different. Realm. Well, thanks for coming to our, <laughs> our yurt, uh, secret yurt wilderness compound here at Komorevi. Thank you. Yeah, we normally are on a sailboat. We have a channel called Expedition Evans. We live on our boat, Eva. And we literally just and... sailed all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. We get to Europe and, and we decided to fly back across yeah. this direction. And yeah, we had we had guys. to come. Yeah, we had to come across the the pond again for some other reasons. And while we were here, we thought let's go see Jake and Nicole. As I was saying, I watch your channel and you're filming like every day in real time, and then all of a sudden you're here. So, I, how did you get from the Atlantic Ocean to uh, to our temperate rainforest? The, Four flight, five I was flights. Say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The magic airplane. Well, why don't you guys sail here next time and then we'll we'll sail our boats together. We will. We'll go to like somewhere yeah, cool. Yeah, we want to. That's the plan. Yeah, right now we're in Europe. We're going to spend some time over there. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll jump back across and kind of work our way west. So we'll be here eventually. We will. And it's selfish that I reached out and that we uh, met because I really want to just absorb some of your sailing expertise. I know. But we haven't gone sailing. We don't think we have time now. But we have more trips coming up, right? For sure. Yeah, I think yeah, we're this planning is, this to is sail. Not a, 
This is not a one and done. We'll, we'll be back. These guys are so excited to show us the lay of the land, and I'm so glad. I feel like we've had some earth to balance out all the sea. Yeah. I was just telling the camera that this morning. I just came out here and was like rejuvenating yeah, like it really the is. woods. I just feel like the land here has so much spirit and soul. Like, it, it's just, it's just nice. Yeah. It is. Okay, so this is something that you guys, as an audience, don't get to appreciate. It's the smells. Mm. There's no way to convey that. Their yurt smells so good. I think I say that every time I walk in the front door, I'm like, it smells so good. Because they've got their drying mushrooms, they've got their spices, all the things they've foraged and that they've grown, and their teas and everything. And it's just, you can smell the richness of it. And it's almost like that's telling the story of what they've done here. Very cool. Yeah. I gotta say, I really appreciate that because year one, anybody we met would go, you guys smell like smoke. <laughs> <laughs> we probably smell like smoke because I have our little fire burn in there and it's yeah. like smoke. Because <laughs> year one, I couldn't find dry wood, so we very smoky fires. Yeah, so I'm yeah, glad yeah. you yeah, like yeah. the smells because that yeah. makes me feel good as a. Yeah, definitely not smoky. It's more like dried herbs and incense and nice. awesomeness. Yeah. Well, that's because of Nicole. She's the, yeah. the candle incense queen over there. Thanks for the smells there, babe. Yeah. And the drying herbs. The good smells, herbs. <laughs> the good smells yeah. yeah. Your baby's making a break for it there. Yeah, I know. So he's got an arrow. So he's, he's, he's ready. <laughs> yeah. We took the tip out has, of that arrow, has, so there's yeah, nothing yeah. sharp on there. I gotta say that, like, when I first found out who you guys were, I cried <laughs> in your channel. You guys made me cry. Yeah. Oh. We made oh, you no. cry. It was, was it all the it was, fiberglass? Oh, no, it was the purchasing the boat. Yeah. No, it was COVID. Yeah, your episode, I just looked for, like, a lot of, like, I've been in YouTube so long, so I just appreciate when somebody's, like, really real and when it's not, like, a fake thing. And your first episode I saw when you guys, no. um, you did a phone uh, auction. Yep. And you battled out other, other people that wanted to buy your mm -hmm. sailboat, mm -hmm. and you won the auction. And just that, just that cut the way you guys cut that, I really was oh, cheering okay. for you guys to win the auction. I was like, they're not gonna win. They're gonna win this auction. I don't even know who these people are. I'm like, yeah, right. You're in this feeling. Auction. He's like telling me. Yeah. He's like, Nicole. Okay, I found this couple. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and this guy's a pilot. Like, I would love to fly like that. And then they're gonna do this together and do this work together. But it was just like the winning of the auction. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did it. Wait, I don't no. even know who this person is. <laughs> Yeah, I used to cry so that was a touching episode, yeah. like because you guys bought this like a salvage boat yep. at auction, and then for like a year or two fixed up during COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a COVID project. Wow, that's bringing it back to life. <clears throat> Boom! <clears throat> Let's go, Legolas. Legolas. <laughs> Jade, Jade says she's gonna be Katniss. So Nicole's tendency is she always shoots high. Train her eye to aim low. <clears throat> so. Let's see what you got here. This is a 60 pound bow, and then Nicole's is like a 40 pound. So I've never shot a bow. You, you, got, you got enough athleticism. Let's, let's go. <laughs> I just think as a first time, I mean, I'm no expert, but just visualize down the line of the arrow. Yeah. And let, it, let it fly. That's it. Okay. Off lefty. Yeah. But I still, I still can shoot nice. righty. There you go. Give I it. Think that's Even better. Oh. Nice. Nice one. Did I put it on wrong? I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Get it? Sounded like it. Oh, nice. nice. Got nice. it. Got it. <laughs> That's right. And now, yeah, now clip in and roll it up with your foot on there. Strong. There you go. Yep. Oh. <laughs> What was that look? <laughs> I got this. Oh, it's gonna look freaking out. The target's pretty deep, babe. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. 
Nice, right in there. Yeah, I'll say I don't want to hurt the feathers out. Yeah. Like any action film ever, you gotta break the air and pull it out of the arm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, once you pull, I push. Let's go. There you go. And then get that momentum. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh! In the front there, yeah. Like a like a sawmill. That is so cool. And oh, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to show the pantry? And there you go. Look at this. Let's go show the pantry. Okay. There's no staircase yet. So <laughs> where's the staircase going to be? Inside. Inside the pantry. Oh, okay. In there, yeah. So you can see sunny spot of the property, so that'll all be a gigantic wood shed. So all the wood, and then these concrete bays, those are my even... So those are the ones of the darkest. Like, the dark color. See that one in the back is black? Uh-huh. That's so what you, we want? Yeah, you want the black, but it's very like cat's claw. Like, sticky? it's going to grab you, yeah. Oh, that one's not ready yet. Maybe Daddy will get you one that's ready. So snow I love these. These forever remind me of my grandma. She's a huge fan of your channel. Is she? Yeah, yeah she, she is. is. These are really good. <laughs> good, right? Yeah. This is the other arm workout. Yeah. I'm disadvantaged for my height, so I'm happy to lift it above my head. Yeah. Get a one-handed walk in every day. Mm -hmm. That's better. Apologize to my pants. <laughs> I tried wiping the carrot on my pant leg originally because I thought it was just gonna like yeah. brush off. But the soil is so rich, it was sticky. Mm -hmm. Like in that nutrient dense way of it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Jane and Brett are the, the not king and queen being such professional sailors. I know, I feel like this is a liability. <laughs> You're gonna have to be diving deep. There'll be yes. a video later like, well, Jim's Jade tied this. this. What not is this? <laughs> this is a figure eight. Okay. This line's a little slick and it's new. If this snaps, then you're off the hook. Okay. So, well, the trap I don't give enough tail. The pressure's on. That's probably how you felt cooking last night. Back in the day, did you like sit around with like a rope just practicing over and over? Or what? Or just uh, we just learned to swim from rock climbing. Oh, rock climbing. How'd you guys, what was your first day? How'd you guys meet through rock climbing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah, first time we ever hung out with rock climbing. So this is like an infinity sign based off your guys' That's well. it. Yeah, yeah. This is... <laughs> yeah, this is how much Brett and I love each other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Aww. Forever and ever. That's cute. You know, Looks you have your partner me. check your knot. Climb on. And but it could get stuck at the bottom. Do you think this is going to be the one? I think it was good. Oh, 
that bull cup apple. Hmm. I get a lot, like today, this will all go in the compost. Okay. Dude, you're doing a great and job. Arms are getting, like, yeah, you're doing, are you're doing great. I'm gonna use my legs. <laughs> this is why Jake has all these muscles on the body. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm feeling it. Yeah. If you want to stay on the edge, no real puller. Then you do it old school way. Right here. I switched, now I'm working out my laps. <laughs> Like OG, Ooh, smart. OG Jake, right? That could, OG no Jake winch. had probably 10% less body fat. <laughs> yeah. Now um, we're doing biceps. Grab Jake cat. <laughs> <laughs> the little feet on the bottom are freaky. Like, oh just... yeah, the little tiny. <laughs> there we go. Cool. We are really close on this side. Okay, go neutral. Because you're going right on this side. Actually, I'll go reverse a little bit. Slow down. Reverse before you go down. Oh, that breeze was so good. Does it? Gardening is big in my life, so the I realized the chainsaw work I do, all those wood shavings, or any kind of uh, work on the, on the other saw, the electric saw, uh, is carbon. And the food scraps and the seaweed is nitrogen, and together makes the best compost you ever had. Mm. Let it age for three months, six months. So this is it. This is our our garden. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we just uh, just pull them up. Without pulling it. Cut the root off. Keep Did you take a bite of the gold yet? I have not. Do you want to? It's the freshest sure. one ever. Does it taste like pickles? It tastes like it's been salted and pickled. You know. Okay, yeah. Think about how many micronutrients you're getting. Is it good? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to the camera. I got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes delicious. It's like funny. a pickle. It doesn't taste anything like a pickle. <laughs> it's salty. It makes a great sound, though. Yeah. It sounds just like it's, an apple. I mean, it tastes like you just swallowed a mouthful of salt water. Yeah. yeah. Which you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but, it's not the worst thing in the world. But in your system right now, all those, it's like a vitamin. Right, yeah. <clears throat> Minerals, sea otter pee. And... I, I really prefer the gummy vitamins. <laughs> you prefer the what? Like gummy Fish vitamins. Crispy pee in you. <laughs> Crispy yeah. pee in you, you know. We had carrots from our garden. It was growing in this, so you did eat it. There you go. Carrots, you know? Yeah. yeah. And you get all the nutrients. Okay. That's right, that's right. I'll take mine in carrot form, thank you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so here you go. Cut the stalk there. Cuts real easy. Nice. Oh my gosh, your knife. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You would have right. had to go in after it. <laughs> there you go. You got that blue one? That blue tub? Oh yeah. Okay, that looks just like a kelp. Mm -hmm. What? The? He can reach me right now. He's in the reach. <laughs> Did he get you? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah he was. He's he's more flexible than the Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, get out. All right. Okay. Can you reach one more? Oh, here you do the nice little hand one. Too. Does that go in? Okay. Nice. <laughs> do you hear the pitch changing? You trust her? Nah, I, I yeah, let's not trust let's that not much. do that. <laughs> Fred's like, I don't trust her. Yeah. <laughs> this is how Jake lost his finger. <laughs> there you go. Is that, the uh, yeah, oh, there we go. So they remind me of like you can give um green prefer the rather than go bro. Yeah. There's a nice kelp ring for you. It's harder to edit. Brett. What? <laughs> Will you marry me? Wow, it's a perfect fit. <laughs> it actually does it's perfect. perfectly. Aww. Matching rings. It really feels I like... I feel like Power Rangers. Yeah, these are, these are like our Power Rings. It's like Ring Pops. <laughs> yeah. With all ring Pops. Yeah you, want to, yeah, you want to bite? Yeah, you know how I'll marry you with paper rings? I'll marry you with a kelp ring.
fall off boats very often. Not all good things. You can't, because if you do, then you're. In big <laughs> then trouble. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot on the line. You got to stay on the boat. It's so beautiful. Oh, he's in a picture. Okay. Where is he? Here we go. Okay, say Taijin. Nicole, is there enough uh, asparagus here for dinner? Um, it's good for uh, a steam, so if you put it in a bowl of hot water and like blanket right. over the bowl and, and then breathe it, it in, out. yeah, it's good for your, for your science. Yeah. Oh, when you smell, I mean, you get instantly, it just kind of like, it just feels like it clears out your it does. science. It's like a, like lavender. Like yeah, very aromatic. Mmm. Mm. Eat it, sure. Mm. <laughs> what is it, bro? Come on, come on. What are you gonna do with all this? I'm gonna dehydrate, uh, dehydrate it, make it into tea. Oh. Yeah. Store it for for the winter if we're feeling sick. If you're feeling sick, then you want to take it if you're feeling like cold or flu-like like symptoms. And I was mentioning earlier that it helps with steaming. So if you want to do a steam, if you're like all plugged up in your sinuses, it kind of helps clear that out. The leaf or the flower or all? The flower. You can do the leaf, but there's more um, potency in the flower. So. Cool. Do some digging. There's stumps. Oh, right there. I'm gonna jump that jump with me. Look at the spot there. No. I don't know. It's pretty. Oh. 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 
beautiful. You see any kiwis in there yet? Got little apples all over. Yeah. Look at that tree. What do you guys got here, babe? Uh, we're just harvesting some uh, fireweed, flowers, and leaves to do the dye project that we're gonna do. So we'll. I'm not sure how it'll turn out because I've never dyed with fireweed or pressed it into flower or into the fabric so we'll see how it works out hmm. it's all an experience it's gonna work i can tell it looks vibrant yeah see if there's enough tannins in it that's all that matters is if there's enough tannins to eco print on the fabric the yeah. fireweed is full of bees behind you yeah you can hear them beautiful what is a tannin kind of like the the volatile oils that are in it so it's how much oil is in it that holds the color or holds the the medicinal properties of the plant. Mm. So basically we're going to transfer this to the fabric? Yeah. So if they don't have a lot of volatile oils, then um, like a butterfly pea, it's so new, there's not a lot of volatile oils in it, so it wouldn't die very well. It would just wash away. Yeah. Versus um, like indigo has so much that it will just keep it. Red wine. Even when you touch it, red wine, or even like cannabis, you know. The cannabis bud has all those oils in it. Walking this way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see your masterpiece. Yeah. That is so beautiful. I love it. This is really fun. <laughs> Plants. <laughs> Get what? You made that? You guys made this. Yeah. So we used the pounding method. What? And we wow. pressed it. The berry part didn't turn out. I'm going to try to rinse it and kind of melt the colors together now. Yeah. But That's cool. Super fun, right? It's like a wash rag? Like a... Yeah, it's a tea cloth. Really good. Well, it's really cool. So start out as like a vibrant green, and as it's oxidizing, it's changing to blue because it's the indigo plant. What? And you can see all the berry seeds. That is so oh, cool. Huh. Nicole wow. made some really cool onesies for Fox. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Where should he go? Here or here? In there. In there. Say bye-bye. Zai Jen, Zai Jen. Close it. some spotted prawn there, Jade. We figured out the pulley system a little better. We're using physics to our advantage. <laughs> we'll see, he's already gone for it. Whoa!
There you go. All right, let's go get some trees. I mean, I think forever this should be called the Expedition Evans Cherry, or maybe the, is it the? Eva? Eva, yep. the Eva Cherry? Eva Cherry. Your sailboat name? All right. I used to plant a lot in Arizona, Sonoran Desert, but this is a different climate, so I'm really concerned about rotting the fruit trees. Okay. So I try to elevate them above the ground a little. All right. Hence, the things you just lifted with the tractor, we're gonna build a, a log box oh, and right. keep them about six inches above soil grade. Got it. So the roots can go deep as they want, but I got better drainage. Got it. So you can put that where, like whatever the you have the biggest one. So put yours on the downside. Yeah, perfect. Okay, this is the the Eva cherry tree. This is the the beginning of the orchard. Yeah. Yes. Montmorency. 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 A lot of times I just get varieties of fruit that I know are working in, in the local area that I haven't grown before. So yeah, that's one of them. Six huh? varieties of cherry, next one to six. Very cool. Yeah, and then this is all going to be all down here. Yeah, all the orchard. Yep, coming up is like um, the rest stone fruits, a lot of a lot of plums and apricots. This row is all the big ones. It's all walnuts and chestnuts. And the front row will be apples. And oh, quince. cool. And up against the road? I, uh, no, no. Uh, before the road, and oh. the road will be monkey puzzle. Oh, monkey which is, puzzle. Gives me like a pine nut. It's like a conifer tree, but it's like a cactus looking thing. Huh. And they have pine nuts. Cool. And now I think we are going to go get cleaned up. Maybe eat a bite of lunch. See how the girls did. Have you guys seen that? Yeah. Oh my god, it's my favorite thing. Is he awake enough? I'm not sure how hard it is. I'm going hard. Give me a little more. Trying not to like feel like the bang in the right. Okay, let's do it. Um, just dump that in there. Let's, let's go. Good. Yeah. Wow. 
Hey, dude. Hello. They're still here. <laughs> okay. Give me some spices, bro. Some salt. Some pepper. Thank you. Hey. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> now you can see. Drink it like a flower, bro. <laughs> good. good. You want to dice a little more? No more? Yeah. A little more. A little more? Let's get it nice and fine. Let's mm -hmm. it. Wow, well, that's good. Magic and then it bursts into flame. Go for it. <laughs> now we're cooking. There's mama. Say mama. Zai Jian. Zai Jian, Zai Finger. Boop. Are you a fishy? It's so cute. Magical. 
You got your wolf pack there, babe? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one, really right? nice. Mm. <laughs> How is it? It's warm. Really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Are those black caps over there? Yeah, I saved a black cap. Do you want to try them? Yeah. Go around by the stump. Yeah. Go around to the right by the stump. Oh, already invested. Perfect. Oh, one more. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I love that my laugh echoes in the trees. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it seem so much more joyful. How is that's it? It's good. These are good, huh? That, that one's going to be really good because it's so dark in color. I think those are my favorite. They're like so just a delicacy. Logan berries are my favorite, which we mm. have to go and eat some. I feel like this berry has kind of like a light and airy feeling to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jake, I was going to offer it to you. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you want <it> back? <laughs> cool. Um, so either planting a tree or walking or going on a hike. We are going to die with indigo. Well, we're not dying with it. I mean, kind of. We're going to pound it into fabric. Mm. So. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Could I shower? Mm -hmm. Hey, what? Are you like the servant girl or something? What's going on here? <laughs> Here, going up there. Yeah. What's the temp at? Wow. All right, well, we're this couple with a young baby now, so we're going to go to bed. You guys enjoy yourselves. Okay, later. Fox camp. You guys ready for lake action? Whatever you want. What do you want? Run into it. Dive. Dive. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. Yay! All right. Not too bad. Right? Oh. Not too bad. No, I thought you were dying. <laughs> Did you see them? Yeah. Not as bad as uh <laughs> high five. <laughs> He's like so you guys are cold. Get out lake in uh Bam. Oh my god. What lake is that? Marine? Uh, Louise? Louise, yeah. You guys swam in there? <laughs> we did it in the winter and we yeah, walked ran. across it so we were frozen, but yeah. I can't believe you guys swam in there. That's gotta be cold. Yeah, I was like, Everyone was like Was it was it like this or what? Way cold. Mm. Yeah, no, it was a mistake. But it was like I wanted to do it. Yeah. Then... That's like like glacial water. Yeah, it is glacial water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, babe. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to dive? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to dive. 
You want this towel? <laughs> <laughs> He's telling you guys again. <laughs> 